Welcome to Leisure Guide video for hands on learning is priority one. I'm an Azure administrator, an Azure security engineer, as well as an Azure solutions architect. Question 10 creating a secret. Create a deployment with the name Secret Service using image of Alpine. Create a secret which uses two variables, username equals Trixie and password equals Mark5. These variables must be added as a value in the pod. All right, welcome to lab number 10. And we're gonna create a, the first task is create a YAML file named Secret Service with an image of Alpine. So we'll do kubectl create the Deployment secret service image equals alpine dry dash run equals client make that YAML and we'll pipe it out to q10 dot YAML. Uh, did my normal mistake here, a dash and an equal sign. All right, let's take a look at our YAML file. Well, it's supposed to be Q10, isn't it? There it is, looking pretty good. On to the next task. All right, task number two. Here we're gonna create a secret, which uses two variables. Username equals Trixie and password equals Mark5. And we wanna make sure these variables are added as a value in the pod. And this is what differs from my uh, previous lab using secrets. All right. So let's go ahead and I'm at community's invitation to my screen. Let's check back to our terminal and let's create our secret. kubectl create secret and we do a paste or a autocomplete or a double tab and get generic. And let's just do a help from here. And we want, we have two variables. And we want to put a file. So I think we want this one right there. Should do it for us. So looking down towards the bottom of the screen now. Little up arrow. So we're going to go the name of it. Uh, didn't say. So we'll just, we'll just use the word here, my secret. And from literal equals, I think username equals Trixie. From literal password equals Mach 5. That should create our secret for us. Excellent. Clear the screen. If you wanted to, kubectl get secrets. And we can see here is, ooh, which one did I just create? My secret. So I'm going to get rid of the other one from two days ago. While I'm here, I'm going to do a little cleanup. D, B, C, R, E, D. Uh, 
Alt Delete. There we go. All right, enough of that. All right, so we have our secret created and we have our deployment file created, but we have to complete the last step <coughs> to configure the deployment to load that secret as into a pod. So q10.yaml. We'll go to our good Frank Meese documentation, type in secrets. Pick the first entry and use secrets as files from a pod. That should do it. And here's our example here. Let's concentrate on the volume first. It looks like it's under spec containers. So we can come down here. Uh, one thing we need to add is this is our uh, Alpine. We need to add a command. And we'll say sleep for, there we go. Now let's come down here and say volumes. I think that's what it goes by. Volumes name. And then secret secret name. So the name will be secret val. Then I think it went secret. Then maybe it went secret something. Secret name. Which was my secret. All right, now we need to mount that in the container. So we need something very much like this. So let's come to here. And say volume mounts. I'm going to guess its name, my secret, then probably something like path. Yeah, name, mount, path. Which I believe was ETC users. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and save it and give it a try. So kubectl create slash fq10. Yeah, well, of course, uh, I've got a little error here. Unknown field resources and volume. So now I got a typo. Let's go take a look. Uh, unknown field, unknown field resources. This doesn't seem to like it for some reason. There we go. Value mounts not found my secrets. Silly me, I got the name of my secret. That's the name. That's that's not the name of the volume. That's the name of the secret. So we want secret vowel. Silly, silly, silly me. All right. So now we'll do a save, close editor. 
spray it again. All right, now we're cooking. So do a cubes TL get pods. This is the one we just decided to terminate. This is the one we just created just now. So let's do a cube CTL get deployments and secret service. I just hit the, the tab key twice. Oh, we want describe. And we should see, here we go, we see our mount and there it is. Looking good there. We could also do an exec into the container. kubectl exec. Let me get kubectl get pods. Paste that here. Slash IT bin slash SH. Then we do an LS, I think it was ETC, and then it was users. And there they are password and username. So pretty, pretty, pretty good. This ends our, our, our question.